everybody, it's your old pal the Moo Cow here, and we are back with another short review for a short film. And I'm joined by... I'm Lenore. Hi. Yay! And we're also here with the monkey. <laughs> and today we are going to be doing a film called A Meowy Christmas. Our old pal Steve Rosinski, the man who gave the world a Karis Hell, which we absolutely adored in 2019, has made a series of movies based on his kitty cat. Uh, there's Meowy Christmas, there's Meowy Halloween. There's, I think, four of them at this point. Because it's Sorry. Right. Sorry. And I believe um, Meowy St. Patty's Day is, is the latest one. Um, I, last I looked on, on YouTube, or not on YouTube, on, uh, on Amazon, uh, there were a few of them that were on there. I think a couple of them may have been removed. But for the moment, at least... Meowy Christmas is up on uh, Amazon Prime. So if you've got Amazon Prime, check it out. It's a really, really cute, cute film. Um, so, Miss Lenore, what do you, do you think you can encapsulate exactly what happens here? Okay, so there's a series of, there's two burglars going around stealing Christmas presents and trying to sell oh. them because they want to live the easy life in the Caribbean based on the money they get from the stealing. Sure. Um, they're based very clearly on the Wet Bandits. The whole movie is based on Home Alone. Yeah. Um, this one rather hapless detective, um... <laughs> Wally! Wally has a pet cat and a pet rat who are able to talk. Um, actually, I think all of the animals can talk. Humans just can't understand them. Right, right. But, um... The cat likes to go online and watch a lot of conspiracy theory videos <laughs> about how lizard aliens are disguising themselves as humans to steal Christmas. And interdimensional vampire creatures, too. Yeah. Um, the rat is a much more rational, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Um, and this is interspersed with things like the cat getting distracted by bugs and wanting food immediately after being fed. And <laughs> it's very, very realistic of a cat. Uh, uh, um, and mixed in with all this is Wally has been given a priceless family heirloom by one of the people who has been burglarized because they don't like being stolen. Yes, Irene. Um, and he has a crush on her. It's adorable and also funny and yeah. also just... Kind of sad. <laughs> pathetic. Yeah. Um, so he keeps it in his coat the entire time and pretends to be a Christmas present because he's convinced that these burglars are trying to steal only Christmas presents even though they're stealing, they're stealing everything. Yeah, he's he's got a little trouble with sort of reality in general. He, so does his cat. I can see right <laughs> Yeah, actually, it's funny. I think I think the rat probably Chuck has the best grasp of the situation at all at any given time, better than anybody else. So, um, so there's also the the police captain. You know, he's your sort of typical blustery uh, black sergeant character. Um, and then there's the two bumbling bur burglars. There's Barb and I forget the name of the other one, the guy. Um, I don't know his name either. I don't remember, but they're both pretty bumbling. Yeah. But, um, so the cat sees them and stealing houses and is convinced that they are aliens trying to steal Christmas. Of course. So the cat, who is actually just a human wearing cat mitten puppet things, um, it's sets cute. up traps. Um, and they actually end up working, which is funny because they're like <laughs> cat toys scattered on the floor, a uh, saran wrap um, over a door, Christmas lights around the gates and entrances. And kitty litter up in the ceiling that comes down and clobbers them on the head. And then she <clears throat> knocks a brick off of, um, I think it was a dresser, to hit them on the head. Conveniently placed. <laughs> and... Um, so all of that's going on, and then they finally get the cat, and they say, we're going to do to you exactly what you did to us. And then Santa Claus walks in, and then we don't see what really happens next, but Wally jumps out of the package that he hid himself in. Um, he was trying to set a trap for them, thinking that they only stole Christmas presents, so he disguised himself as one. But he gets frustrated, he jumps out, and then he sees that Santa Claus has tied them up with Christmas lights, and they said, Merry Christmas, these are the thieves, the evidence is in your car. And then he grins and jumps up and down, and he's convinced that he did it on his own. Of course he did. <laughs> and the cat and the rat are watching, and they say, Yeah, we'll let, them have, have him, we'll let him have this one. And then it ends, and Irene gave him a Christmas present that he didn't get to open until the very end. And it's a mug saying, World's okayest police officer. And he looks at it and says, uh, What was the 
captain's name. And uh, he's yeah. planning to re-gift it to his captain. Right, right. Because so, it's a more appropriate for him, apparently. It's ridiculous and silly, but it's also fun. And it's adorable. It's adorable. I mean, the cat is adorable. The cat is very poofty. <laughs> uh, fluffy. Fluffy. Bright green eyes. Yeah, bright green eyes, yeah. Uh, definitely has been enjoying her food no matter what she's been saying. Um, and then uh, the, the rat Chuck is really cute too. Um, and I like it because, you know, obviously it's a, it's a parody or a take on Home Alone, but I never really liked that movie, mainly because I was never a big fan of Macaulay Culkin. Well, instead of an irritating little kid, you've got these two cute, adorable little critters who are pretty much doing the exact <laughs> same thing. And um, yeah. it's super cute, it's I thought. Also just the idea of making movies about your cat, about your pets, it's just really cute. Yes! Also, the pets are cute. Yes, yes, yes. It's a short movie, too, so you can watch it and you don't feel like you've had your time taken away. Exactly, and it's family friendly. I mean, you could show that to kids, right? Mm -hmm. Should be no problem at all. Um, yeah, and I love the fact that, you know, I mean, as filmmakers, we all want to be able to be out there making the movies we want to make, and we all understand the reality of budgets and things, and you, you just never know if you're going to be able to do anything at any one time, and you just, a lot of times you have to wait. But in the meantime, you've got a cat, you've got a camera, you've got some creativity. Why not make a couple of fun, little, interesting cat movies based around your cat in the meantime? Put them up on YouTube, and people will check them out. And people should check them out. I, th I think it's a lot of fun. I'm, I can't. I have not seen um, the Meowy Halloween, but I think I want to see that one next. And uh, Meowy St. Patty's Day looks really, really good because I believe, um, I believe the the uh, the, the cop uh, ends up body swapping with the cat. <laughs> I saw that in the trailer, so that should be fun. Now, I don't know whether all of these things can be found on Amazon on Prime right now. I, I know that Meowy Christmas is, but Meowy Halloween and the other ones, hopefully you should be able to, to get them somehow. If I could find a link, I'll make sure to put them at the bottom so that you can check them out. Because, um, you know, we always like to help our indie film friends. And, uh, like I said, he's already given us Karis Hell, which was a movie I absolutely adored. And um, anything to help Steve Rosinski and his group uh, get some more moolah is okay by me. So, in the end, I would say this was a lot of fun, don't you think? Yeah, it was very cute. Very cute film, and um, I think you guys will enjoy it, so do check it out. Anyway, I think that's it that for our uh, short reviews for short films for Indie Film Cafe. This is your old pal, the Moo Cow, and Miss Lenore, and Continuity Monkey. And we are saying so long, and we will see you on the flip side. Bye.